Welcome everyone to another fantastic episode of the GEABL Highlights with your man of the hour, Jonathan White. We kick things off with a return visit to the Maba Stadium in Kuala Lumpur where the KL Dragons look to upset the Philippine Patriots at home. Coach Go of Kuala Lumpur must come up with something special and Rudy Lingana and Roel Hugnatan and Jamal Brown have got to be up to the task. While Coach Luis Francisco and his Patriots must not underestimate their opponents or they might suffer the price. Round 13 begins at full force and the Patriots take the early lead. Next, the Dragons make something happen when Rudy Lingane scores with an impressive move, followed by Jamal Brown and Chris Cuete driving to the basket for a layup, each scoring with some backboard action. And before Robert Wainwright can savor his two points, Rudy Lingane attacks the basket for two, while teammate Lee Chi scores with a jump shot. The Patriots were about to make a play at the end of the first period when Robert Wainwright and Che Hyan Chai got in a scuffle. It's a face push followed by an elbow right to the neck area, but the ref made it clear the martial arts stops right there. The Patriots start to chase the game with Baklao rebounding and scoring two, while on the other side, Hugnatan hits a baseline jumper, adding two points for the host. Gino Dao goes right and left to ditch Fazmir and shoots the score, and it's deja vu as Hugnatan gets another two in the basket. At 27-14, Mike Powell makes an assist as things turn really bad for the visitors when Dragons' Loshi Fai nails a shot from behind the three-point line. Four minutes into the second period, both teams go into Kung Fu mode, with Jing looking to be the troublemaker and the replay will show that right after Fei makes his shot, Li Wei hits the opposing defender. Jason Dixon was all business making a shot and hustling his opponents for another two points. And Hugnatan does more damage to the Patriots with his shooting abilities. Powell shows the KL defense how to slice through some dragons and then acts as provider for John Alcaraz for a three point swish. Chichai makes a cool reverse layup to take the dragons ahead 44 to 32 at halftime. I'm not happy now. Right, wait till the end of the game. See what is the result. Then. Third period action and the Patriots grab another three pointer, but Rudy is all over the place for the two point counter strike. Wayne Wright hits one of his 12 points from some distance and Hugnatan continues to impress. So does Wayne Wright and his second three-pointer of the night. The Patriots close the gap to two points when Jamal Brown says forget about it. But Johnny Alcaraz wants to keep things tight and he does so with a skillful jump shot. Patriots tie the game at 51 apiece through Powell's drive but not for long as Jamal Brown gets under the basket for a much needed two points. Next, the Philippine boys are on fire from either team when Alcaraz nails another shot and Linganay also scores at the other end. Hugnatan will again frustrate the Patriots' defense, this time with a turnaround jumper. But then it's a thank you very much slam dunk from a Dixon 1-2. Batumalai gets the home crowd roaring when he gets a layup to extend the Dragons' lead by 7, followed by Brown's two points as he gets open for the easy does it basket. The Patriots are tiring. Brown finds Linganay to extend the lead by 11 with less than 3 minutes left. Hugnatan will slide through the Patriots' defense followed by an insane foul. Forget the earlier fights. This is something taken from SmackDown or the WWF. Mark Andaya frustrated just pulls down John Ang. Now that wasn't very nice now was it? And with minutes remaining, Fazmir has all the time in the universe to make a 3-point shot. And while the Philippine Patriots make another obsolete 2 points, Loshifai gets to the last laugh. Nobody could have predicted such a scoreline. Dragons win big against the Patriots 75-59 and that is reason to celebrate. Yeah, we, I think it showed a lot of heart for the team. Uh, they, they stuck at it uh, even though we lost uh, you know, our main import, Chris Whitney. So it's a big shame but uh, yeah, we came through with the win so I'm happy. Here are some of the best players from the Dragons versus Patriots game. John Paul Alcaraz got 10 points, 4 rebounds and 2 steals. But he could do better with his shot attempts next time though. Robert Wainwright is perfect from the free throw line tonight, contributing 12 points and 3 rebounds, shooting a not bad 42.9%. While teammate Jason Lamar Dixon gets a tremendous 15 rebounds and scoring 19 points. His nice stats couldn't help his team this time around. The Dragons' Royal Hugnatan should have been fouled more because he was scoring a decent number of points from field goal range, collecting 13 points for a night's work. 
Rudy Linganai was sharp shooting 100% from the free throw line and collecting a total of 14 points, adding 3 rebounds and a couple of assists, but no 3 points for this Dragon. Player of the game deservedly goes to Jamal Brown who went 5 for 5 behind the free throw line, making 3 assists while scoring 13 and rebounding 11 times to help the home team upset the visitors. After round 13, the Patriots are still atop with 22 points. Losing just four matches in 13 games, the leaders need to find something to get them out of this slump and get back to winning ways. The KL Dragons are at fourth place, winning five games out of 13. They must be content with 18 points, but after tonight's match, the Dragons have definitely found a spark to their game. Christian Coronel, JP Alcaraz, and Warren Ibanez make the Philippines proud as these three Patriots still lead the league in assists, averaging 3.5 per game. Patriots' Jason Dixon also enters the top five best rebounders in the GEABL. Dixon gets an average of 10.6 rebounds in a game. Chris Cuete of the Dragons does one better than Dixon as his average of 11 rebounds per game cements him as one of the best players in the league. Chris is still the highest scorer in the entire league with his 20 points per game. But if he gets sidelined again, the rest of this batch will definitely squeeze him out.